I got plenty miles to go before me sleep And I plenty miles to put in on me feet Come take a walk in my shoes Come take a walk in my shoes Plenty miles to go before me sleep And I plenty miles to put in on me feet Come take a walk in my shoes we're at the Barbados National Triathlon Championships and I'm so stoked, even though it's super early in the morning, there's so many people out and ready to get in the water on the bike and do their run. And I'm so happy to be here to support as well. Even though I'm not a triathlete, you know, it's still important to come out and support other sports. So let's see all the fun that they're going to have today. It's the sand under your feet It's the water, it's the sea It's the wind blowing through your hair It's no shoes, no shirt, no gears It's the sun kissing your skin It's the state of mind you're in It's the feeling that life is grand It's the drink that's in your hand Everywhere you go in Barbados, you can find a Trini! So I have Io Gilbert Semper here. He's doing the sprint distance. Um, what's your goal today? My goal is to win. Your goal is to win. Awesome. So walk me through how long is the swim, the cycle, and the run in the sprint? All right, so it's a swim, yes. Yeah, so it's a 750 meter swim, a 20 kilometer bike, and then to finish it all off, a 5K run. Nice. So what's your strength? My strength is definitely the bike. It's been ever since I started triathlon, the bike has been my strong point. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to be looking out for you on the road, and good luck. Thank you. Okay, I found my friend Josh here, fellow runner, and he is like a leading road runner here in Barbados. So you're also out for the triathlon, which is good. It's good to see runners come out and support other sports. Mm -hmm. um, but you're doing the relay and you're doing the run. Yes, please. And you are the defending champion from yeah. last year. So you got a lot on the line today or are you just chilling? Um, today, um, we're just going to stay humble, but... Um, but why? Why when you can on, brag? <laughs> based on uh, our team and the results, we, we should be able to defend um, the relay. Not saying it's going to be easy because mm. the, with the triathlon re relay from last year, what I realized was that the cycle is what really wins the relay. So if you have ah. a really, really good cyclist and a decent mm. runner, I'd say a 1630, you could win. Well, um, you're more than a decent runner. Yeah, did so you we, stick with the same team as last year? Yeah, we're cool. the same team from last year. We actually did, we actually dethroned the guys that were running for six. So there is a, a lot on the line because they're gonna yeah. be coming for you this year. I yeah. bet you they were training hard. To, I don't know. I, <laughs> to I get assume, back that. <laughs> I assume they were training hard, yeah. but it's gonna be fun. I like doing this. It's yeah. a lot of fun. It's cool. Well, it's good to see you, man. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you too. It's your closest friend. It's alright. Okay, I'm here with Luke McIntyre, 10 years old? 11. 11 years old and you won your event this morning. Do you feel amazing? Yes. Is that your car you won in the background? But you can't drive. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so was it fun? Yes. Did you give yeah. it your all? Or you had a little bit left in the tank? I had a little bit left, but on the swim and the ride I gave it my all. That's awesome. That's, that's good to hear. When I had distance on the run, then I didn't go as fast as I could. Did you feel confident in your run? Um, did you have a good lead? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, well, I didn't have a good lead off the bike. I was in second, but close. Um, but then I caught, caught up before, just about that point, and then I had a good lead at the end. So are you a strong runner? You knew maybe you could close it in the run? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, good. Well, congratulations on your win, and we hope to see a lot more big stuff coming from you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I'm here with Shara Hines. She came second in the sprint triathlon. How was it for you today? Well, it was pretty hard. Mm -hmm. The start of the the start of the swim, everyone was swimming together, and I got hit a in the face a couple of times. And coming off the ride, my legs were pretty wobbly. Yeah. But I think it was a good race. It was also a bit hot. But yeah, I can good. imagine I'm out there. But so you're you're happy with your performance? You yeah. felt good finishing. Um, well, it always feels good finishing, right? <laughs> I was off from training for two months because I fell and I broke my jaw riding. Mm. So this is my first race. So. 
I'm pretty happy with myself. Yeah. Was there any like, did you have any hesitation coming back on a bike after an event like that? Yeah, I I was really scared the first couple times, but I think I'm comfortable now again. Yeah, cool. Well, congratulations. You did awesome Thanks. today. Cool. So we've got Olympic hopeful Matthew right here. How did you feel about your race today? You know, I was able to control my effort. I was out front quite early and just managed to you know, maintain, race a good solid tempo and yeah, you know, get the job done and keep a little cap on it, you know, so I didn't suffer too much in the heat. Yeah, you know, it's all eyes on you when you're on the road, right? Whenever you come home, everybody's like, gotta support, gotta support. How do you yeah. feel about that? No, I absolutely love it. You know, I always say, you know, down here, triathlon is one big family and I, I do love coming home to race and, you know, very few times I get the opportunity. So it's, it's just enjoyable to cut, sleep in your own bed and have a nice relaxed atmosphere, you know, because I'm racing all over the world usually and there's no place like home. Yeah, and home cooked meal, Auntie Lynn. Yeah, correct. Auntie Lynn, <laughs> well, I usually call her mum, but yeah, Auntie Lynn works as well. So yeah, nah, she, yeah, nice home cooked meal, you know, keeps it relaxed for me. I can, don't have to wash the pots after, you know, don't got to chop up any carrots. You're being nothing, baby so hair, you're baby being baby hard, hair, you know, man. Life of an baby. athlete is supposed to be difficult. <laughs> too easy yeah for sure you know mom keep, keeps takes care of me for sure yeah well congrats on your win today and um always really happy to see you racing it's always great when you can be on home soil i think you yeah. know and i've seen so many kids out today and families and i feel like the future of triathlon is so bright like how do you feel about that yeah it's it's obviously fantastic you know i think like triathlon is in such a good place in barbados and the caribbean on a whole you know with having the crypto yeah. triathlon championships yeah. um started up just three years ago first time it was in barbados yeah. and you know you can just get a really big feel that you know the kids obviously love it and they're all looking forward to that one big championship every year and have stepping stones like these races um to, you know try to, to refine their craft yeah. and i think yeah triathlon's in a really really good place in, in the caribbean for sure. cool well i hope you have some bikes bears lined up for you now or something right a rum punch <laughs> right, or a little massage like or something, or something. <laughs> yeah no nah, just waters i on the waters you know go yeah i know you're still in training yeah, so yeah, this is yeah. no yeah well, rum punch for november time i can have yeah rum punch. cool okay <laughs> well all the best to you thank you very much yeah. Gary, cheers. <laughs> Okay, I've got Dominic, Josh, and Nkozi, and they're the relay team that won. You defended successfully. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Are you happy with your performance today? Yeah. How did you find the cycle? Um, it was really hard because it came out from competition. Mm. A hard two weeks, but I just had to stay in the two minute barrier, and I did, so it worked out. Cool. And the swim? Um, it was a bit difficult. The start was hard. I started off in the fifth, but by the time I got to the first buoy, I started to extend my lead. So I'm happy with that. Nice. Okay, that's cool. And Josh, how yeah. did you find the run? Because that must be pretty tough out there. The sun's hot. Everybody's baking. So the, the run was harder than last year because it was hotter. And then in the competition, Russell made sure that he made the gap bigger. So I had over three minutes to make up. So the run was harder, harder because of the sun, but not difficult because I'm in shape this year. Yeah. So. Nice. Well, congrats, guys. Yeah. Um, maybe yeah. next year it might be a hat trick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on the Barbados National Triathlon Championships 2019. I hope you guys had fun. I certainly did, and I feel like I need a big swim right now. Come take a walk in my shoes. Come take a walk in my shoes. I got plenty miles to go before me sleep, and I plenty miles to put in on me. Come take a walk in my shoes. Come take a walk in my shoes. I got plenty miles to go before me sleep, and I plenty miles.